Hey guys, it's Katie. So I've been thinking about eco dyeing some paper or like dyeing paper. One to use with clay, a project in clay and mixed media. And I want to try to do it myself to see if it works out. Now I have two pie plates here. I'm going to do two different things and see what works. Um, I have a cup of really hot water over here and then I have tea and you can use I wouldn't use used tea because it might not leach as much but I have these tea drops that my mother-in-law brought me for Christmas a couple years ago and I don't like the little pieces in it that's why I haven't used it I mean I could have put it in a straight I like one specific kind of tea I'm kind of picky um so I'm going to use these but I don't know if I want it loose in there in the container so I may if I had a little one of those little strainer or tea ball things, I could put it in those, but I don't. But I have some of these for your Keurig. I have some of these, so I might put it in here because it's a fine mesh. Because I don't know if I want the little chunk sitting on the paper. If this makes any sense to you. Okay, so... But I don't know, you might want little chunks. So quick sneak, sneak peek at what I'm thinking. Boop, boop, okay. So I have some newspaper here um, that I'm gonna use. I have some plain printing paper. And then I have a book that my dog chewed up when he was a puppy that I was reading for a college class that I needed an elective for, which is stupid. I went for dental hygiene and I needed an arts and humanities elective. So one of the options was a Stephen King, which I, what ha that has to do. It was like Stephen King. There was like four options and none of them had anything to do with my dental hygiene degree. So I don't have a bigger container. If I did, I would use it, but I'm just going to use this and see how it works with them overlapped. It actually might be, give it a cool look and I'm just ripping them I can rip them later to get them to fit in it um, I'm just like the tattered edge if I'm going to use these in projects and if you're going to use it or in mixed media tattered edges look good but if you're going to use it on clay I mean that's a big piece for a piece of jewelry okay let's do that so and I might do a trial where I just take one of these tea drops put it in here and then pour the water over and let it all the pieces go. The first way I'm going to do it, I don't know if this will fit in here. Let me see. Let me get a smaller one. Let's get this little heart. The first way I'm going to do it is with no debris. So this is T. And I think I'm just going to. Mm, Yeah, I'm just going to set it in there and let it do its leaching thing, and then I'll pour it over it. So let me wait a few minutes for that tea to do its thing to steep in the water. And then I also have, I'm going to do a second batch, probably three batches, my old K-cups. Now, they are old. They're not, I've used them, obviously, you can see. So with this one, I'm going to dump these out into one of those and put it in the same thing water so we'll have one coffee one tea okay look at that tea it just it actually dissolves it's kind of weird i'm going to do another one because i want to make it really concentrated and this kind of sludgy stuff i don't know maybe it's in the bottom of my cup i don't know so i'm going to do another one because i really want to make this concentrated but i mean if not just put, put like four or five tea bags in here i'm just trying to use up something i had and I want this open. My fingers are wet. And probably won't use. So I'm going to put this back in here and really concentrate it up. And then I already... See, I don't have any water down here, so I need to go back upstairs. Took one of the uh, Keurig. Now, you could probably just pour water through here. I don't know. I just opened it up and poured it in here. And I... Gonna go grab another cup right now 
and get that leaching into some hot water. And then I'll probably do the second one from yesterday afternoon. It's decaf from yesterday afternoon and empty this out and then pour this one in and leach it again. Cause I want these really dark, darkly pigmented. I mean, it looks dark, but yeah, that's looking darker. Look at all that stuff. See, I wouldn't drink that. That's why I didn't use these. So that one's almost ready. Let me go get another cup of hot water. Now, the other thing you could try, if you don't have any old junk books or newspaper or anything, if you want to try to personalize something, is white printer paper, um, type something on it to make it kind of look like a newspaper or something. Type stuff on it and then try dyeing it. The other thing is I don't know if the ink is going to bleed if you have just recently printed it. So the other thing you could do is try dyeing white paper and then printing on it later. But these are going to be all wrinkly, so I don't know how either of that's going to work. So if one thing I'm going to do with the tea now is just pour it on. Yeah, see, I would not drink that. That's just me. But let's let these little whatever comes out. Okay, so there's the tea one. And... We're going to let that sit probably over 24 hours to see what happens. And then the coffee one, let's see, this is just one of the things, obviously the second one's still sitting there. So let me see if that's going to be. Dark enough. This is on a slant right now. So. Okay. So I'm going to let these sit and see what happens. And then maybe if I wasn't happy with the tone of it, we could do it again. You know, do another one and then dump this out and pour it back on it. I don't know. We'll have to see. wait and see what happens. So I'm just going to let these sit over... You know, today, it's only, uh, it's 11. It's noon in the afternoon. It's noon. So I'm going to let these set. Maybe tonight before I go to bed, we'll take them out and see what they're looking like and see what kind of paper is dying better and stuff like that. Okay. So I'm outside. The dogs are watching me. It's a 50 degree day. Look, we still have snow on the mountains. And we're going to do the paper. So it is now 1 o'clock the next day in the afternoon. So these have been sitting for 21 hours or so. This is the tea. And it's nice out, so I'm excited because I didn't know what the hell, if I was going to put these in my shower, if they would uh, stain it. I didn't know what I was going to do to dry them. It is quite windy out, so I don't know how long I can leave these out here. But I'm just going to put them... I think this is for our septic, these two things. So I'm just going to put them out on this plastic, let them sit in the sun for a little bit and see what happens. And they have, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but they, they are quite dark. You know, this was the printing paper. So this is the tea. And I might let them dry and go, no, I want some darker and decide to make some darker, or like do it again on the same pieces. So I'm going to let these sit out here and dry. Let me go get the coffee ones and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so here's the coffee ones. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch. Oh, I'm going to have to watch these because it's windy. It's freaking almost May and we're just hitting the 50s. I mean, it's crazy. I want some nice... I can't unfold that. I want some nice weather. I mean, it's nice today. Thank God there's sun today. It's sticking to the other dome one better than it's sticking to this one. Yeah, see, I'm going to go back on this somewhere. Let's see if I can put this in here somewhere. Because it's actually sticking to this one. Sorry. I'm holding my camera and trying to do this. 
I mean, if I had a clothesline, I could probably put it on the clothesline. Hi, buddy. Happy boy. But I don't have a clothesline. Oh, one. So I got them all laid out, and actually they're drying really, really fast. So I just want to show you while they're laying here. That's the coffee printing paper. It's still pretty white. This is the tea. So as far as your teeth go, I guarantee you tea stains more. Actually, I know tea stains more because I can tell when people have tea stain. But it didn't really... So I might have to redo the coffee one. I don't know. I'm just going to have to... The coffee's out all on the outside. The tea's in the middle. So I'm going to let them dry as much as I can outside. And then maybe I'll have to hit them with my heat gun inside. I don't mind if they're crinkly. I don't mind. But actually, they're drying fairly flat. So we'll just... I just got to wait and see what happens. So... Okay, let me show you what I got going on here. So, plain pa printing paper, tea, coffee. The coffee, just a little bit, but it didn't really do much. They are still slightly damp, but not. So, I think I'm going to redo the coffee. So, let me go get some hot water and stuff, and I'll show you what I'm going to do and see if that changes it. I'm going to redo the coffee. The tea I'm actually pretty happy with, but I might take. A piece of each, a piece of the plain paper, a piece of the newspaper, a piece of the book, and dye it again just to see if I can get it even darker, you know? Mine as well. So let me um, go get some hot water. Okay. I also, so again, all of this is tea. You know, I tried to find pieces of newspaper that don't have pictures on the back. So this may, may not work for me. Um, but look at the book. Okay, this is where we started. This is where we ended. So it did do quite a bit. What I'm going to do with all of these that I've already dyed for 24 hours, I'm going to dye them for another 24. And then I have a bunch of new stuff that, that will get 24. These will get 48, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put them all back in. With the tea, rather than using that little K-cup thing, I just dropped it right in the water to get the little pieces. And with the coffee, I took it out of my K-cup. I dumped the grounds in, and I'm going to use the grounds. I want to see, and this is used coffee. So pure coffee that has not been used might give you a darker tone, but this is used. And it's light roast. I only drink light roast, so I'm going to pour all of it with the coffee grounds and everything to see if that will do do something. Let me get a, like a Q-tip or something and see if I can get those down in the water or yeah, in the water. And then we'll see what these coffee grounds do if they leave little bleed spots. I don't know. We'll see what they do. So that's the coffee. And then the tea, we'll do another round of it. So the tea dyed well. And you know, different types of tea may do different. So this time, like I said, I just put it right in. Um, different tea bags may do different things. Like upstairs I have my, I don't really drink it. I drink sleepy time tea and then I drink um, a jasmine green. But like, I wonder, my mom got me some of this apple cinnamon one. I wonder, that one looks really red. If I remember when I was a kid, that might give you a different tint. Green tea, you know, different teas when they steep, look differently. So I wonder if those will give you different things. So another, so it's one o'clock, well, one thirty now. I'll uh, let these sit until tomorrow and see what happens. I might have to rinse off these coffee grounds and tea grounds. I don't know. We'll have to see if when I pull them out, if they come off like that. And if most of them come off, then I'll probably be fine. If they stick to it, I might have to rinse it before I dry it. I don't know. We'll have to play around and see. So I will let these sit again and see you tomorrow. Okay, guys. So here's our paper, obviously. And there are some coffee grants. I just took a couple out. I think I'm going to let the coffee sit another day just because... It's rainy out and I can't really take them outside. I just pulled a couple out of the thing just to see what happens because um, I want to let them dry. So here's the book. I pulled a news 
piece of newspaper out, a piece of the book, TT coffee. So this is the tea that's been in for 48 hours. This is the tea that's been in for 24. So different papers will probably, and this is a coffee, um, different papers will probably pick up the dye a little differently or tea and coffee. But here's where we started. So coffee, 48 tea, 24 tea. So either way, they've dyed nicely. Um, and again, try printing your own saying if you want to on these. Um, for what I'm going to use them for, I can just, I don't care if it's generic. Um, so I'm going to dry these with my heat gun because it is not sunny outside. And when they're dry, I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Or a piece of them. Okay, there's our eco-dyed paper. I mean, once they uh, went dry, they're not very see-through, so that's pretty cool. So these can be used in mixed media projects, all kinds of things, you know, just by layering them. Jaggedy edges and stuff will look really cool in different mixed media projects. So use them for that. We're going to use them in a clay project and probably mixed media projects. So I will get to going on the mixed media project. But this is a super simple thing to do. And like I said, if you want to customize and write something in like newspaper font or New Times Roman or whatever kind of font and type up your own little thing and dye it, that might be a cool way to do this um, and have it personalized. I'm not going to, but there it is. Dying paper with coffee and tea.